Finland. 12 stages. Here we go. Gotta watch these uh, temps though, because the sides have gone back onto the uh, computer now. They were off for uh, the last couple of days. Or just yesterday, actually. Because I wasn't too sure about the old... Uh, Yeah, so the sides have gone back on and that GPU is running a lot faster and a lot hotter. I just don't think there's the right airflow through this case. Let's see what she gets up to. when we actually play. Here we go, what are we in first? Hey, that's pretty cool. I like this car. I like this car. Ah, it's gone down 65. The fa that's normal noise to this computer when I boot up Art of Rally. I think there's a, an airflow issue in this computer then. The fans never went over 2,500. They went up to like 2,000 yesterday. With the uh, with the windows down, now they're absolutely screaming for air. I think it's just simply an airflow problem. in a minute. Why have you got an unscrupulous amount of brie? Fuck me. <laughs> I 
mean, these temps are pretty good, but that's a thousand RPM harder that the fans have got to work. No wonder the bloody thing blew up the other day. What? No, why have you got unscrupulous amounts of brie? Yeah, I was, so I was about to start Germany in Group 4. And the computer just went off. I was like, ah, oh, fuck it. It's, it's absolutely, like... It, it has a problem. Like, if we have a power cut, my computer will turn off. Um... It just has no no sort of smoothing to it, so the computer just goes. But you never notice because the light uh, the lights are on some sort of filter or something. I don't know. The lights never flicker anyway. There's probably some sort of capacitor. But yeah, I'm pretty sure it overheated because it was full of dust. It's the, it's the most reasonable thing that it overheated because it wouldn't turn back on and it was fucking hot. So I dusted it out, blew it all out with a little fucking uh, hand duster, like, I don't know what you call it, basically a makeup thing, it's technically for washing your ass, but um, dusted it all out and kind of had a look and thought for the first time ever, this GPU is in a, it's in a dead spot of air. So it's, it's right above the power supply. Pa there's basically power supply, tiny little network card, and then um, then probably two inches, five centimeters. And then there's the graphics card fans pulling up and into the fan, and then exiting is fine because it pulls it up and then it will go out the back but I think there's just a dead zone of a lot of things pulling from that area and then there's just nothing pushing air into that area because the front case fan is too high for that so it's been running at 2000 RPM on the GPU same sort of GPU usage every time you turn a corner it goes to 100% usage <laughs> uh, but yeah it's keeping the temp pretty well down but it's running a lot harder which I'm worried about CPU doesn't seem to be an issue at all um, I can't seem to get C there's no CPU fan speed thing for some reason I can't can't get it on the computer but it works perfectly fine in the BIOS and Apparently the CPU fan can go fucking ballistic. Apparently it can go 5,000 RPM, my CPU fan. Jesus Christ, why would you do such a thing? It does it on corners because it's got to reload. If you think... Like, it's loading things in the background, so it's it's got to change the background. So you do a, a hairpin. The best one is Indonesia... There's a hairpin where your camera goes into the corner and you all you can see is the very, very close of the of the um, of the car. And so you all you can see is the floor and it's pretty much a corner like this, but there's a wall behind you. You know, the road is right up against the cliff. So it focuses in right on the back end of the car. The frames go up and then all of a sudden it unlocks and the the CPU just goes, oh fuck! Because it's got to load, it's now got to load in, and you can see so much because it's kind of like this bit. But imagine when we do that backwards, you come round this corner, and then all of a sudden you can see the entirety of Finland. Because that's what it is. Like you can see, you can see for miles. You're on top of a cliff, and all of a sudden you can see everything. But you know, two seconds earlier, all you could see was the back of your car, so it doesn't have to load much. So yeah, that's why. Yeah, I might have to do something about this old. Uh, thing because to make matters even worse I did have all my plugs my switch everything on top of the case which has it's got vents in the top of the case uh, but no fan or anything just open I did have loads of shit on top of it so now I'm like the switch is the only thing that can live there because it kind of has to 
There's nowhere else to put it. Because if it goes on the floor, I'll kick it. If it goes behind my computer, I can't get it. <laughs> like the Wii's behind my computer, but that's fine, because... I never run anything off of a disc anyway. Mario Kart Wii's in there because you need it to play online, but um, that's it. I never run anything off a disc on the Wii. I can pick up the controller and I can reach through the gap just enough to press the on button and that's all I need. If I'm doing anything more fancy then it's pulling the... I, I, I could spend the time to pull the pull the SD card out if I'm going to load more games onto it. It's not really a problem. Whereas the Switch, it's like, if it was tucked in and hidden, it would be a pain in the ass. But yeah, the fact that they're running 1500 RPM higher than they were yesterday, it is no warmer right now than I was playing yesterday. I mean, they're keeping it down, like... Because I looked it up, apparently 75 to 80 degrees should still be perfectly fine. Below 70 is optimal. So we're still, like, optimal. I need to play something that constantly taxes the, the CPU, uh, the GPU a bit. Something that's, like consistent rather than this where every time you go around a corner it loads a different amount and it's up and down like from 1% to 100% I need to play something that's like really consistent oh, it's a decent GPU it's uh, RX 580 okay it's what I consider a decent GPU I know that there's like way better GPUs out there but considering I haven't really changed the games that I play since 2017 when I upgraded this computer uh, it, it's a pretty good GPU. I think the only new new game that I'm playing regularly since 2017 is Art of Rally. Like, yeah, it's it's a it's a perfectly good GPU. I I was going to upgrade it at one point, but it was right in the middle of all of the. Um, crypto mining stuff, so I just never did. One thing I do find interesting, when I got this computer, 2013, end of 2013, got this computer. Um, oh fuck. Got this computer, it had 8 gigs of RAM in it, when I got it. And that was considered... That was considered normal, and 16 gigs of RAM was considered lots. Um, and 4 was like bare minimum. Well now, 8 is considered bare minimum, but 16 is just considered perfectly fine. Like 16, but, but 32 is rare, it's not like you'd see quite a lot of people with 16 gigs of RAM back then, 10 years ago. Now pretty much everybody's got 16, but 32 is is kind of a rarity. I mean the thing that's mad to me is that my laptop behind me has got 12 gigs of RAM in it now because I upgraded my uh, laptop's RAM, my other laptop, my gaming laptop, and it had one it had two 4 gig sticks in it, and I upgraded it to two 8 gig sticks. My laptop behind me had one 8 gig stick, so I just popped the 4 gig stick in it. <laughs> and was like, that'll do. Are they? Huh. I did not know that people were getting 64 gig quite often now. I, I haven't... In the... In the like I've not, to be fair, I've not seen many builds. It's more seeing what people are running. Because on Linux, there's a you set up your new Linux distribution, and then you go and you post your new your new install with a thing called Screen Fetch or Neo Fetch or Uwu Fetch with Fetch, which just gets all of your system information, posts how many screens you've got, how many gigs of RAM, 
what operating system you're using, how many packages, all this. Nice little picture. Done. And I don't... I see most people with 16. It's pretty consistent that you see 16 gig. Yeah. The, the thing with RAM is that if you're not using you might as well use it all. The only reason programs don't use all of the RAM is because they're... Um, they don't want to hog it because then it's, diffi it's difficult to then have... to give it up for another program if you're using all of the RAM. But unused RAM is wasted RAM, so you might as well just use more of it. Which is why things like rendering settings, they have the option to just say, just use all my RAM, I don't care. Just do it. Make it as fast as possible. Which for me is great, because most of the things I ever edit, you could load the entire uh, video project into RAM, which is good. But yeah, I think... What are you struggling to run? Have you? I've seen you've been playing CS2, and I'm thinking like, oh my god, I'm gonna struggle. Like I struggle to run CS2 so hard. I was able to like it's annoying because CS:GO was fine, and then CS2 is running at like 40, and there's nothing. I'm playing at 720p now in CS2 because it's the only way I can do it. I've basically. To be honest, it has made me just completely give up on giving a shit about CS at all. I enjoy watching the esports and I'm probably just going to continue supporting the esports and that's it. But playing it, flashbangs give me fucking headaches. Everyone's bitching and moaning about right CL underscore right hand. Like, bitch, I want centre hand and I want it to work properly as a centre hand. Not be right or left handed, squashed kind of into the centre but it doesn't work with all weapon models <laughs> like you can make the Glock look great but it will look dog shit with the USPS um, and I want black screen flashbangs yeah changing hands is a thing Honestly, I'm surprised they added in changing hands. I 100% expected them to just make you... Um, just make you pick one or the other. 100% expected them to do that. Oh, BMNG is brutal though. Like that's pr that's just CPU power. Like, I've never really played it, but I know a mate who did, and he oh, he practically had a supercomputer, and he still lagged on it. Like fuck. Most ridiculous. Like his his computer was so powerful that we worked out that it, it we both had to compile a game, like take the code and compile it, and it it actually got to the point where we considered that it potentially would have been faster. Well, so his was done in like ten minutes, mine was taking for fucking ever. Not on a bad CPU either, you know. Ryzen, um, Ryzen 1500X. My and we honestly, it would have been quicker for me to cycle over to his house with a USB and get his copy off of him and bring it back. It took that long. It's like how far away? Half hour bike ride. It's gonna take. It, it took more than an hour longer than. It took like two hours longer for mine, his was doing ten minutes, I think mine took two and a half hours or something. Just sat there compiling. Like, 
actually quicker to just go to his house and nick his copy. Yeah, I like that bit. Where's the GPU? Oh, it didn't! Wow! I was really expecting the GPU to just spike as soon as we came around that corner because it's like you're not looking at anything and then all of a sudden you're looking at everything. Yeah. I'm glad I was. I honestly was about to get the 1500 regular. I am so glad that I went with the 1500X in the end. Because, yeah, same sort of thing. I last upgraded it in 2017. So, yeah, about eight years ago. And. Yeah, it was like upper mid range. The thing that's kind of kept it okay for me is that playing on Linux, you don't get the latest games. They don't work well anyway. So you tend to be playing more indie titles and things that don't care about their insane frame rate and stuff. Though I was playing Momentum Mod earlier, which is a very easy game to run. Uh, playing it on all high settings, because it's a very easy game to run, there's not much going on with it. Recording in OBS at really high quality, OBS itself on the indistinguishable file size setting was using a 60fps 1080p was using 70% of my GPU, like 70 to 75% of my GPU itself. Right now I'm streaming and recording at 30. Fuck. But the worst thing about it was, the bloody video has some frame skips in it and some slowdown from 60 FPS. It drops a little bit down to like 50 game perfect no problems i don't i don't know if it dropped but it definitely didn't feel like it dropped i didn't have because i uh, the thing i was recording for meant that i didn't have any hud elements on so i couldn't have the overlay or anything i was slight i i did in uh, halfway through when i heard my fans start kicking up a little bit i was like should I open just a random ass tiny little game, something, open it up in the corner just to have this overlay up? I could probably turn. Oh no, I've got the F I know why I've got the FPS thing on. Never mind. I was going to say I could probably turn the FPS thing off because I've got Steam's FPS, but it's on there because not every game is run through Steam and the overlay can be useful plus it tells me if I'm using OpenGL or Vulkan which for some games you just don't know Please do. Please do tell me how to go faster in this game. I was trying something Frankie said for a little while. 
Right, just about to understeer. Yeah, I was trying that for a while. I don't think I ever got it right, because I was just so slow. Because I was just, I, th I was basically just like, not doing any, uh, like going into corners just at no speed and tiptoeing around them. Ah, uh, yeah, I'm terrible at smooth on the brakes and on the throttle and stuff like that. I do need to focus on trying to actually learn how to drive at some point, but it'll probably happen a bit after I've done all of the tracks. Because honestly, the most annoying thing about everything here is driving every car. I'm just about getting used to this car now. Well, I've been used to this car because I, I, this is my main Group B car. But you get just about used to the car about the 10th or 11th track. And then all of a sudden you have to change bloody car again. Yeah, I, I think I, clutch kicking was something that when I saw that you could do it, it was, I can't remember what it, I was watching that kind of made me do it way too, I think I, I definitely do it way too much. But I do it to, mostly to try and keep, like, keep the higher gear. I know Frankie's said before, try and drive these cars not like they're rally cars, but like they're, um... Oh, fuck, I've over said that. Ooh, we'll keep that together. Uh, like they're F1 cars or touring cars. Like, you don't go bowling a touring car the way you do. Depends what touring car it is. Modern touring cars. Pretty boring racing at the minute. Giving up watching the BTCC for a bit. When they when they bring out a new generation of cars that actually makes some sense. Then we might get back into it. Oh, I got a proper random bug yesterday. Um, Australia in the wet. Sixth stage, finished. Go into the seventh. No service. No service for the rest of the uh, whole rest of the rally. So, yeah. Nope. I said that... Uh, 
I put it in the bug reporting thing. Sent my log, sent everything, sent a video of it. And uh, I said to Mike, I said, Mate, at this point, I've done nearly a hundred. Yeah, that's in my submission, but I kind of, I kind of thought you'd accept it because it's not exactly going to make me, uh, make me faster. It was brutal because it was Australia as well. So I'm like flat out with a dirty car in Australia. Group four in the turbo brick, going down on some of the fastest, fastest bits of Australia. It's like I'm driving a Group 2 car again. Yeah, I said that. It's like... Uh, if we if we had damage on, I'd have probably had to reset. Because there's no way I would have survived. There's no way I'd be surviving this. If I had to play with damage on to submit to the speedrun leaderboards, I don't think I'd be doing it. Honestly. Like, I think I'd probably try, and if I made it, I made it, but I wouldn't be going back and forcing myself to do it. I'd just go through, see if it happens, if it happens, it happens, otherwise, what stage did I get to? Okay, let's load up time attack. We're doing the rest of them time attack. Ah, nice. Germany in cat face is looking pretty tasty at the minute. Saw Frankie got fucking blown up by uh, uh, like buggy surface finishing. Yeah. See, the trick is, I, I don't have to worry about it because I'm not that fast. I crashed in Indonesia on one bit and I was like, holy shit, how did I not get terminal damage? Went back and watched it and I was like, I'm not actually going fast. Hmm. <laughs> Nice.
Cheers, Turbo.